happy. Now, if you are looking to add a water feature on a budget to your garden, look no further than Carson's DIY bird bath. So it will have songbirds just flocking to your backyard. And Carson, before you show us how to make our own, can you walk us through some of the treasures you have going on in that gorgeous garden of yours? See, I love that you called that out because it's true. I am a yard sale junkie. And when moving out to the country, I realized <laughs> that country yard sales in small towns are the best. They're the bomb. Not so much for decor in my house, but definitely for items in my garden. So I'm going to show you some of my favorite scores that I found. Now, weather vanes. I love old weather vanes. Even a broken one like this, I actually stick the rooster down in amongst the plants. And it's just like a little bird peeking out of the, the shrubbery. It gives a little bit of interest, but it fills negative space beautifully. Another big one that I love, these. These are lightning rods. These would go on top of barns, but as a focal point, a visual vertical focal point, they're fantastic because often you'll have perennials at this height and shrubs above them, but nothing in between. So these guys with the glass ball actually create visual interest that you don't have to do any work for, which is fantastic. Another one of my favorites, galvanized buckets like this one here. They have old patina age to them. I fill it with lavender, even some herbs, and they look fantastic. But that little bucket cost me $5. I filled it with plants, and now it's a perfect hostess gift that I can give somebody else so that they have their own little garden outside instead of a bottle of wine. Just a little something, something different. Oh my gosh, you've got some great scores there happening uh, in your garden. So let's get to the, uh, the beautiful bird bath. Uh, I noticed you've got your antique lantern and sealant ready to go. So where do we start? Yeah, so for this project, you're going to need an old lamp, and I got a few different ones at different yard sales. You're going to need a set of wire cutters like this because you're going to remove the hardware. And of course, you're going to need some sealant. Now, if you find a lamp like this one that I'm showing you that has the fabric cover, obviously the fabric cover is not going to work. However, if you can find a lamp that has the glass shade, that's what you're looking for. I actually even found this glass shade replacement at a local box store for under $5. So this is the key. This is the dish for your bird bath. Okay, so now that we have that going on, are there any concerns that we should have uh, safety-wise while we do this project? Well, as you know, lamps have electrical units in them. So obviously when we do this project, we are not plugging in the lamp, but what you're going to do is you're going to take it all apart, including taking out the electrical. We don't want the electrical part in the garden. So it's really just as simple as taking out all the segments and put that there, take out my little piece there, unscrew this and see it comes apart really easily because there's actually a center stake that holds it all together. So when you can unscrew it, then you're just going to pull it up. There's the wire. We're going to cut the wire right off to remove it. Again, if you feel best, use some safety gloves, but I'm pretty confident in this one. We're just going to snip it off. We're going to remove the plug and all of a sudden you now have your base happening for your bird bath. Next step, once you've got that lined up, you're gonna just take this connecting piece off as well. Just as simple as screwing it off. And you can do it by hand. They're not very strongly held on there, but you're gonna see there's a little post. That little post right there is what you're going to actually mount your bird bath onto. And it just slides over the top like this. Whoop, that little nut that I dropped is going to actually go back over the top here, lock it all back in, screw it back together, and voila, you have a little bird bath. Simple. Now you'll notice on this one though, Tracy, I added a little extra detail. I spray painted it with a stone paint so that it looks more vintage, more ancient. I kind of just gave it a little zhuzh because I want it to look better in the garden. I think it looks so good. That was a smart last move there. I love that. That's gorgeous. Now, how long do you have to wait uh, for the sealant to dry before you actually add water to it? Well, so different sealants have different dry times. Just to be safe, even if you're painting it, leave it overnight. Then you can add the water, put it in the garden, and your birds will start coming by. But also, Tracy, keep an eye out for butterflies and bees. Adding a little gravel in there will actually allow them to come and access the water as well. Thank you for that. Uh, you can find the instructions for his project on our website. That is cityline.tv.